mm -hmm. I didn't know how to go about it. Mm -hmm. So I, I just put down um, a song mm -hmm. that those are basically my thoughts, as in asking God, Mazem mm -hmm. Mimi means as in Pia Situiku about his inside here. Mm -hmm. So it's basically a prayer. Okay. It's, uh, I'm I'm really grateful that it's being played in the gospel scene and guys are categorizing it as a gospel song. Mm -hmm. But my intention wasn't that. My intention is that I'm just praying to God and say yeah. Okay, so just spreading good vibes on both sides. Not that you're leaning yes, anywhere. Yeah. Okay, that is nice. So on, on this note, to Mepotea, I think before this, the song you released was like seven months ago. Where have you been? Yeah. <laughs> yes, uh, uh, the previous song I had released was uh, with Magic Senga and mm -hmm. it was mm -hmm. So, you know, sometimes you, there's, there's, there's a way that most artists, I'm a most creatives, mm -hmm. tend to go find yourself. Okay. So I've been on this journey trying to find myself. Uh, as you can hear, praise a reggae has a reggae vibe to it. Yeah, it's yeah. been produced by the amazing, amazing Kenyan uh, German-based producer uh, Anita Hopkinsblaze mm -hmm. of Ever Ever Blazing Production. The guy has worked with um, big big dancehall artists like Nasiz Lakalonji. Uh, as in, there's so many artists. Mavado. He's worked with so many big international artists. Okay. So we've been friends with him for a minute and um, over five years. So it was the right time. As in, I've, I've always been a fan of reggae. I've always been doing reggae, but a fusion of reggae with, for example, if Ukiskiza Zamzam, Zamzam has that reggae vibe to it. Mm -hmm. So reggae. So it has, yeah. Okay. Reggae is the vibe you're bringing out this time round, or still just vibing to different tunes? Yeah, for now you'll hear a lot of, I have a reggae album. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I have a reggae album, but that doesn't mean that I'm I'm moving away from from my normal, mm -hmm. from the norm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, even very soon I'll be I'll I'll be releasing a song uh, done by um, what is this guy Laser, mm -hmm. Diamond's producer mm -hmm. from yeah. GZ, featuring okay. a certain lady from uh, Kenya. Mm -hmm. So yeah, he's just. Yes, reggae is a kama cornerstone, but I'll still be doing my thing. All right. So I think yeah. uh, the music industry now, especially in the country, has become so diverse with uh, gangeto in the in the way and a lot of other new types of genre of music. So now that you're back, how do you uh, probably plan to to get back in the game now? Blend now the new things that are being done now. Point of correction. Mm -hmm. I'm not back. I've always been there. I'm just picking it up from where I left. Okay. I've okay. never left the show business. If you if you've been a fan, I'm a, if fans have subscribed to my YouTube channel, mm -hmm. I've been releasing songs. So I didn't left the show business. I just okay. taken a back step, but still releasing songs. Though not pushing for the songs. You understand? All right. But it's a good vibe that uh, we have different styles of uh, music that are coming up, which is a good thing. Though I still think it's just the same thing. Mm -hmm. The only thing that has changed is the the vibe and the shame mm -hmm. and how it's being sung. So if it fit is on a certain mark, it that actually shows the growth of the Kenyan music industry. Okay. And uh, for me I'll just maintain my identity. Singing there's nothing I'll just maintain my identity but going with the times. Nice, very well. So, as we're finishing up on the interview, can you give your fans the parting shot. Parting shot, Kwanza. Uh, thank you all, everyone who's been there for me since day one. My first single came out 13 years ago. That's Mama Milka. So, ever since I've had fans who stood by me, you are this producer, and I'm a Bisa. And uh, if you're my fan and you you'd like to interact with me more, just uh, go to, uh, go follow me on Instagram at Kenzo Matata. Go subscribe to my new YouTube channel uh, Kenzo Matata. Go like my fan page on Facebook Kenzo Matata. Subscribe and uh, as you as you guys have seen, I have a new song out and um, the, the the new song is actually doing good. Thanks to you guys. So go support it, share it, and uh, let's pick it up from there. We can talk more from there. See you. All right. Uh, thank you very much, uh, Kenzo Matata, for gracing Morning Cafe Friday Vibes, of course. We hope to see more of you on the show. Thank, thank you. you for having me.
Thank you so much. Now that was Kenzo Matata guys. Uh, we get back in, into some bit of music and then we come we're coming back with the entertainment trends. And yeah, and let's yeah. see. Yeah, so we're back. Entertainment segment, trend segment where we talk about everything and anything that has been happening throughout the week. And in studio with me, I have with me my guest. Let let me give him a chance to introduce himself. Yo, my people, uh, karibuni sana kwa interactive, manze tutaka tubonge stories fiti. Mm -hmm. Mi kwanza before tuende kwa topic, naitwa Nick Mavindi, uh, media personality. Amuna mna gani? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> sawa, sawa. Mm -hmm. So we begin with, uh, Bahati has a new song, a remix. Actually, it's not a new song. I mean, he did it, he did the song Wanani as a single song, and now he's redone it with featuring Odiwa Muranga, Sylvia Saru, uh, Major and Petra. It's such a nice song. According to me, I will smash that song. It speaks to my heart. Manzee Joto ni kwambie, unajua squeezy wasewa manza kukuimba vitutu zingine. Okay, mm -hmm. it's a nice song, Manzee. Mm -hmm. yeah, I love it. Mm -hmm. I've listened to it. Uh, but, unajua mtuka bahati. Mm -hmm. Bahati has been in gospel. Uh -huh. Sa tujui wanaenda into secular <laughs> amani. Ajo jawa jana ni kato wa kukonfuse Tyler Benz. Una get? Yeah. So, unapata like, um, msa instead ya kuimba content ya gospel, mm -hmm. ananza ku include vitu zingine zenye. Mm -hmm. Atufai, unawana kaa uh, wanafanya ma, ma genge tones. Mm -hmm. So, like, uki, ukijaribu kumambia like, mbona, why is it that you're doing like, um, mm -hmm gospel na hawa se. Mm -hmm. Watanza tu kuji protect wa sabi, oh, hati sijui wa, na tunajaribu kuita wa se wa kuja into gospel so mm -hmm. that sijui tunaineza jina. But it's not good by the way. It's good kama unataka kufocus na gospel, mm -hmm. you focus and you deliver content ya gospel. You get? Yeah. So that even if I'm listening, mm -hmm. na feel like, oh, jeez, naenda mbinguni maze. But Wanani is a love song. I mean, it is a love song. It speaks matters of the heart. Uh, gospel and love song, I mean, it's not so far apart. And plus, okay, can we say that now Bahati ame talk at the gospel scene because of this song, because ame fanya the song with Sylvia Saru, Odiwa Muranga, of which he has done another song with um, Kina Major and yeah. uh, the council. That yeah, yeah, so yeah, sure. do you think that this he's exiting the gospel scene? Ama, what's your take? Yeah, for me, take yangu ni, uh, uwe msea ame toka gospel. Mm -hmm. Ju, uh, the squeezy, <laughs> vitu zanya naimba, by the way, uh -huh. Uh, as it makes sense kwa gospel industry. Mm -hmm. uh, Kwe tuka bishte yake ba, nani uh, umu ngeene, poze. <laughs> as it maze, <laughs> I've decided to go to <laughs> secular. <laughs> Juwa kuna aja ibishe God. You know, it's not good to uh -huh. mix God with other things. Uh, okay. If you were to serve God and sing to him, yeah? mm -hmm. ebu imba nyimbo za mungu, una get? Yeah. Za kubariki mse. If I'm there down, I need to be inspired. I need okay. to listen to your songs. Ni feel at least, okay, fine, I'm somewhere. Una get? Okay. Like, so kuniambia stories, ingino, unanza kuita watu ingino wa genge at all. It, Wait, it, it doesn't make sense. <laughs> this conversation <laughs> is really getting on to Nick. <laughs> well, we move, <laughs> we move on with the next topic. Uh, yeah. One Corazono Kwamboka um, has a baby bump, let's say. Yeah, and uh, they, in a recent interview with uh, Edgar Obare, uh, her and Frankie just jimmed. She confirmed that Frankie is the baby daddy and they're expecting a baby soon. Nick. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Sasa hata ni kuambie, mm -hmm. ladies, mm -hmm. um, wanapenda sana when you see like um, mm -hmm. kula msemfite, mm -hmm. lazima tu uh, akam up na ile kitu ya kukushikilia pale. For me, by the means, yu nika yu kusema like, Mm -hmm. She's expecting a baby, yeah? Mm -hmm. It's not a good vibe. Mm -hmm. But niliona tu ni like kituka ya ku make fair mama no, as in a trend. No, but you know, the two of them had been seen together. They had been seen trending together. They yeah. were working out together. And then, boom, they are dating. Boom, there's a baby coming. I mean, it was just too fast. Ama maybe they exactly. kept it from us. Exactly, exactly. Uvenye ni mekwambe. Unarovenye umesu, unasama boom, sijuye, whatever. <laughs> boom, whatever. <laughs> That is what I'm telling you. Like, mm -hmm. akuna aja, mm -hmm. like, utapata hiyo kitu, ata ita go for long. Mm -hmm. And at the end of the day... Are you jinxing their relationship? <laughs> <laughs> at the end of the day, by that time, you show true reality. Mm -hmm. Utapata maybe ata wasi mtu yu ake. Wow. Kumwekele ato maybe. <laughs> no, no, no. My they views. did come out to confirm that, you know what, I'm the baby daddy. You know what, we're together, we stay together, we've been together. But how long is the relationship going to take? How long is it going to take? Only time will tell. <laughs> <laughs> Let us move on. One uh, vixen, one Kenyan vixen, AC Apple, posted a, a picture with Davido and said that 
uh, in the caption she said uh, thank you very much Davido for giving me this opportunity to work with you but social media Kenyan VAR yes social media VAR did come out and say you know what this picture has been photoshopped it's fake akuna project tunafanya na Davido i hope we can get that picture and you can judge for yourself yes, Nick, sure. what do you think about this big senzu are chasing cloud na ni kitu hakuna hii hata ni kwambia hii ni story ya maslay queens mm -hmm. sahi unajua sasa hivi venye kuna <coughs> unajua so many guys sahi hawana mm -hmm. do okay. hakuna venye ma sponsor sasa hivi they're not there mm -hmm. sahi this is uh, the moment slay queens will take any opportunity mm -hmm. atumie una get like for now <laughs> she had to do a photoshop but that was a photoshop yeah yeah at so that you are say one oh yeah alikuwa na ndio apate favors za Mm -hmm. internet but that is totally nonsense mhm mm hii usiliko <laughs> inapeleka wase imefanya baadhi ya dem sai wengi wenye uh -huh. wana depending kwa ma sponsors nini uh -huh. they are totally suffering by the way acha uh -huh. nikwambie wana suffer a lot uh -huh. So tough uh, times ahead for Slay Queens. Exactly. <laughs> Not ahead. <laughs> they already tough. They already, they already yeah. tough, eh? <laughs> Una get. Uh -huh. So sasa hii wana unajua wana do. Mm -hmm. Sasa hii wako like uh, yani that totally na ha having nothing mm -hmm. the the pockets the way kuna job walikuwa wanapenda wameza kupelekwa out na pizza nini mm -hmm. sasa so, hivi but i haven't seen any lady akiposta kwa social media sijui oh i was sijui in, in dubai whatever in dubai uh -huh. sasa hizi kwa api si watu show sasa hivi that's what are for slay queens yeah, yeah. so they'll have to use any opportunity hata <laughs> kama ni photoshop eh unapata uh -huh. msea anakuja asema ah he was with me unajua venye uh -huh. sasa nataka ku kuona like wase wase oh fine kumbe she still doing fine while deep down uh -huh deep down uh -huh. mdemo anaumia manze acha nikwambie uh -huh. she's totally suffering wow. eh watu kienda maybe ako ameuza kitanda she sleeping on the floor uh -huh. eh. so it's just cloud chasing exactly that is the kiki, reality kiki unatafuta kiki <laughs> <laughs> okay okay I, i think that is all we had uh, this friday morning the entertainment segment it's been such a good vibe speaking to nick of course yep. and kenzo matata i think we do this again next friday same vibes different guests and uh, you know we do what we do best i have been your host um, Nancy Kimuyu continue talking to us via social media platforms at tv47ke and of course on you can get me on my instagram at miss_kimuyu until next friday guys <laughs>